In this lesson, we'll look at basic probability and understand some notation and then use trees and lattices uh, to count possible outcomes. Uh, we'll be focusing on theoretical probability, and that's just when we count the number of desired results over the number of possible results. Uh, experimental probability is when you carry out some test or you know, roll a die um, a thousand times and count how many ones you get. Uh, this is related to, uh, in statistics, we looked at a sample and we um, uh, measured uh, characteristics of a sample and we predicted what would happen um, in the population. So that's related to actually doing something or measuring something. And here with theoretical probability, we're just going to count the uh, possible outcomes. All right, selecting a multiple of two. Well, let's look at uh, some vocabulary and notation. Um, the sample space S is the set of all possible outcomes. And then we can have an event so we'll say event A is selecting an even number the set A is all the even numbers So we um, look at the number of elements of A. The number in A is 5. The number in S is 10. the number of elements in A divided by the number of elements in S, the sample space, and we get the probability probability of A is 1 over 2. All right. Uh, you try uh, B and C using the same notation. Pause the video.
So we just have to identify the elements of B, event B, and there's three elements out of a possible out, uh, number of elements of 10. Uh, two or three. So let's look at event C is a multiple of two or three. C is the set of um, multiples of two combined with the multiples of three. So we have two, three, four, six, eight, nine, ten. probability of C is the number of elements of C over the number of elements of the sample space. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over 10. We can use a tree or a lattice, and when we flip the coin once, it can be heads or tails. If the first flip has heads, and we flip that coin again, or the coin again, we could get heads or tails. If the first flip was tails, and we flip it again, then we could get heads or tails. So this keeps track of all the possibilities in two flips. There could be heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, tails, tails. And this is the sample space of two flips. That's a tree. And then a lattice looks like this. There could be heads or tails. We could say that's the first flip. That's the second flip. And then we just look at all of the intersections of these lines. And we could have heads, 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 tails, heads, heads. I guess we should say that this is first toss, second toss. If we're going to talk about the order, the first toss is heads, heads. Then we go tails, heads, heads, tails, tails, tails. But in either one of these, we get the sample space Let's say event A is two tails. Event A is the set of one element of two tails. So the probability of A is the number in A over the number in the sample space. There's one outcome in event A and four outcomes in event in the sample space. Okay, you do the probability of one head and one tail in either order. Pause the video and try that. And we have to be careful in um, reading these problems. 
if it said, what's the probability of heads then tails? Well, that's going to be different than saying one head and one tail. This doesn't specify the order, and this does. So we're not doing this one. Event B can be heads, tails, or tails, heads. The probability of B is the number of elements in set B, or the number of elements in set S. So we get 2 over 4. Just stick to um, six sided dice. All right. So we could think of a tree or a lattice. Uh, if we make a tree, we have to roll two dice. And so when we roll the first die, we would have six outcomes on the first die. Then we roll the second die, and we'd have six outcomes on the Second die, well, we'd have a, the tree would be impractical and a lattice would be easier. And then we can just identify which outcomes have a sum of 7. So this outcome has a sum of 2. 1 plus 1. This outcome is 2 plus 1. That's 3. We want to look for the 7s. 6 and 1 gives you 7. 5 and 2, 7. 4 and 3, 3 and 4, 2 and 5, 1 and 6. So we can see that the sample space is going to be 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1. We won't list them all, but we can see there are 6 by 6 outcomes. There's 36 outcomes. And um, event A is having the sum of 7. We have 6, 1, 5, 2, event A is a set of these six outcomes. So then we do the probability of A is the number in A divided by the number in S. And the number in A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The number in the sample space is 36. So we get 1 over 6.
right and uh, urns are popular in probability questions and it's just the type of container um, so it could be just a bag the container contains um, these cubes and we're going to select one cube so let's find the probability of a green cube we can see event A is selecting a green cube so probability of A um, let's look at a tree where we have three red seven black two green and we're going to select one cube if you take one cube out of this it could be a red or a black or a green and the probability of a red cube is 3 out of 12 the probability of a black cube is 7 out of 12 and green is 2 out of 12 um, if we did looking at the events um, event A is going to be you can select the green there's two greens in the urn so we have two possibilities in the event A so the probability of A is the number in A divided by the number in the sample space the sample space is 12 and the event has 2 and that's what we see over there 2 out of 12 1 out of 6 alright do B and C using this notation pause the video B is selecting a red we have event B is the set where we have red red the three red cubes so the probability of B is the number in B divided by the number in the sample space three over twelve one over four uh, event C is selecting a red or green so that's the set of three reds two greens the probability of C is the number in C divided by the number in the sample space so C has five and sample space is 12 okay we'll stop there